Okay, now it's time to basically work on the solution for our problem with the controller. So first of all, this is the only solution that I have come across so far. I don't know if you can come across another one online. Please do comment and let me know what one you have come across. Now, the fix is really, really easy. First of all, you'll need to make sure your Xbox controller is connected via a cable and a good quality cable to your PC. If it's, n if it's not, it's a cheap quality cable, it will not work. I used a cheap quality cable, it wasn't picking my Xbox controller up and it, it was connecting, it would work everything like I would play a game, but the software that I'm going to use to firmware update it wouldn't work. So first of all, what you'll need to do is go into to Microsoft Office okay I don't have internet connection but right now because I'm recording and what you'll need to do is basically go into a search and search for Xbox accessory once you've downloaded and installed it I want you to go into that Xbox accessories and all it does is basically the controller and whatnot and when you connect your controller with the cable so I'm just connecting it just to show you guys right now so it'll come to this screen so this is connected via Bluetooth so connect it via a USB cable a quality one to be able to configure it or to be able to firmware update it this is the button for firmware update after you firmware update it you will not have this issue anymore all right guys that's basically it I don't have this issue anymore let me know in the comments below what do you guys have problems with and how did you guys sort it out and all that stuff thank you for watching it to the end I really appreciate it take good care bye bye